channel total technology this is tutorial 44 and today's topic will be how to create editable text box inside your pdf so till now whatever we have seen it is kind of static pdf not the editable pdf for example um, the editable pdf means after you open the pdf file you will be able to write or delete or um, add or something similar for example if you open some uh, PDF page from Google form or something like that where you will get some sort of like text box check box radio button which is actually editable but till now we have, haven't done anything on the editable part so in this part we'll be going to talk about how you can create PDF file that to for editing so this will definitely give a, a, a kind of user experience kind of uh, interactive interactive user experience for the, your customer for your customer or whatever project you are working so if your requirement is to create some sort of editable uh, pdf then this is the right uh, tutorial and just stay tuned with me i will teach you how to do it and this is very simple so before doing that let me just delete this thing so let's say from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas then from report lab dot leap dot units import centimeter then from report lab dot leap import this is spelling mistake that is what this is coming so let me just check whether i have successfully okay fine so then define the pdf file object if this is going to be canvas dot canvas and we'll write tutorial 44.pdf then what i'll do i'll just write pdf dot draw center string and let me just remove everything like 10 it is going to be 50 and test okay and then pdf dot save so this is going to be uh, kind of very normal thing and it is going to uh, generate one pdf with the name tutorial 44.pdf and inside that the text uh, word will be written but this is not uh, editable pdf so if i refresh this thing you'll get this thing and see this is not editable so now our job is to create one editable text box okay so for that we need to write only two lines of code so x is going to be pdf dot acro form okay and after that x dot uh, for text box this text field and you can write like this colors dot uh, yellow border color equals to colors dot black text color equals to colors dot red okay uh, border width will be let's say six border style will be solid with let's say define weight is let's say 100 height is 10 x is 50 y is um, let's say 40 tooltip let's write this tutorial 44 example and we'll name it as tutorial 44 text box and i don't think so we need something else but i think you can just font size is 20 that's it so what i'll do i'll remove everything from here okay 
so now let's run this thing done so let's refresh this thing see we get a text box here okay but I'm not sure like uh, why the color is like this black okay color is black uh, field color was yellow okay border with is six let me do one thing let me just make it two and we'll get 500 and let's say height equals to 50 and let's run this thing first let's check if something change or not yes now it's working okay so yolo and this should be red yes so this is working fine okay so this is the text box whatever we are trying to create it is here so what i'll do i'll just take a copy paste of this code and i'll try to put it here okay so this is very simple so let me just change this thing first okay and let me save this thing okay so if you see we already know this part and this part so only new thing is this and this and if you were if you are using some sort of uh, nice id like eclipse is definitely nice but uh, pycharm is better than eclipse so just because i am doing some sort of java programming and android so that is i'm just using eclipse rather than using some other id so if you see if you just write, write x dot text field it will give you each and every attribute whatever is required and by their name itself you can easily understand what is required and what is not right so this is kind of very simple tutorial so in this way we can create editable text box suppose you are uh, your, your requirement is to create some sort of form and inside the form you need to uh, create text box and that text box should be represented or uh, should be presented presented to the user in, in, the, in the form of interactive UI and users should enter their uh, input so for example you are using Jamvo or you are using uh, Node.js or you are using Flex framework and there you, you need to embed this PDF in the form of kind of uh, uh, report or Google form kind of a things and there definitely you are going to use this PDF text field from report lab if you are using Python definitely you, 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 you should use this thing because you don't have to worry about other things and the codes are not going to be that much complex and this is very easy to remember and easy to implement so that is why this is going to be very important tutorial for your like PDF journey so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and if you have any doubt any suggestion any complaint any feedback and if you want me to include some other use case plus please 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 feel free to write me all those things but one recommendation or suggestion from my side guys this is high time try to run your own code try to write your own code don't just uh, blindly follow my tutorial definitely it will help you to learn something but until and unless you are not practicing by your own you will not be able to develop your own uh, kind of uh, intuition towards these things so my humble request is to try to do some sub sort of coding by your own okay so those are watching our channel for the first time or watching this series for the first time i'll highly recommend you guys to please subscribe to our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you should not miss any notification from the next time and if you really enjoy our video and if you think these videos are going to help some of your family and friends please feel free to share our videos with your family and friend and for the udemy students thank you very much special thanks to all of my udemy students for purchasing this course and because of you guys actually i'm super excited and motivated to coming up with all this new tutorial and i'll promise that in november sorry in february or march there will be two or three new series are coming so stay tuned with me keep supporting us and keep watching our channel so that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day